Yo, oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary from Just Another Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Like the content this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, uh, Raven Training Camp Day 12. You know how we do it, man. We back with the uh, the injuries, the offense. Wasn't too much on defense today, but we'll definitely talk about the injuries to start off with. Uh, only new person that was injured or added to the injury, I have to say, is Pepe Williams. He was not out there practicing today. Not sure what happened yesterday. They didn't. They didn't give me any indication that he was injured. But he was not out there today. All right, so Trenton Simpson, Rocky Seen, uh, Geno Stone, Arthur Marlette. Uh, but they said, John Harbaugh said that Marlette has a hamstring injury at the moment. So that's why he's not out there. Still waiting to hear what's going on with Pepe. Haven't heard anything about him uh, as of right now. All right, now Puppers, we know it's Dobbins, Bateman, NFI, we know it's Ty's Bowser. Now, John Harbaugh did comment on J.K. Dobbins today. A reporter asked him a question about J.K. Dobbins. And Harbaugh said that the ball is in J.K. Dobbins' court, but we expect him back soon. Now, this kind of goes in line with what I've been feeling, that this isn't necessarily about a contract this season. This is about a contract in years to come, right? So pretty much what I'm saying with that is that J.K. Dobbins wants to be 100% healthy going into the regular season. He doesn't want to have these days in training camp where his padded practices and they're getting hit and has a possibility of getting hurt on the practice field, right? And ruining his future as far as money goes, right? That could be... I know some people view it as a selfish decision, whatever. Hey, it's all it's all a matter of your opinion. I understand why he's doing it, especially if you look at the running back market right now, how running backs are being treated. I, I understand why he's trying to make sure that he's in tip-top shape going into the regular season so he can have his best season possible, right, and maximize his earning potential. That's what I think it's about. I think we'll see J.K. Dobbins maybe last week of preseason, not, not playing in the game, but I'm talking about that's when he'll return to the field as far as practice and stuff like that. So... We'll see him shortly, but I don't expect him to see him. I don't expect to see him the rest of this week, maybe even next week. So I think we'll see Dickie Dobbins maybe in two weeks, honestly. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's sooner. But if, it, if it's not, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, now before we get into the offense, I did want to mention one thing today is that Jadavian Clowney was in the building today for a visit with the Ravens. We know the Ravens have been potentially looking into outside linebacker help. We also know that Justin Houston just signed with the Carolina Panthers. So that took one guy that the Ravens were extremely comfortable with off the board. Um, Jadavion Clowney, um, if he does sign with the Ravens, you know, we'll do the, I'll do the full video, the breakdown of it, my thoughts on it, could it help the Ravens, you know, is it important, things like that, you know how we do it. Um, but for right now, I'll just leave it that he was in the building for a visit, and if he signs, you know, y'all get that video. All right. Now, first thing I want to talk about um, is the quarterbacks did wear wristbands today. That's kind of been a topic of discussion, right? Um, will Lamar Jackson and other quarterbacks throw it off a of memory where they have wristbands? They wore wristbands today. It seems like Monkey just wanted them to go the first two weeks, um, just doing it off memory, right? Try to get that memorization down. And now that maybe they're more comfortable, he, they can go to the wristbands, or maybe this might be an on-off thing. We'll see. Uh, but they did wear wristbands today. All right, now about actual football things, right? Uh, Lamar Jackson was extremely sharp today. Uh, in 11 on 11, Jonah Schaefer tracked him. For 18 for 25, no interceptions. Um, so listen, man, the, this is the offense back-to-back -back days being really, really good. Uh, this is what you kind of expect, right? To have ups and downs, and they've learned from past mistakes, and they're they're playing really well right now. So I think that nobody should overreact to anything during training camp. That's 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 probably number one, right? But uh, number two is the fact that you want to see people learn from past mistakes. And that's what the Ravens are doing. Offensively and defensively, you want to see people learn. The Ravens offense seems to be getting better as we go along in training camp. And that's exactly what you want to hear. All right. Um, a number of these plays that Lamar Jackson made, the Ravens defenders were also in good coverage. So it's not like, you know, it's completely blown coverages on the back end. This is sharp, accurate passing from Lamar Jackson and uh, great plays by the wide receivers. Now, uh, the wide receiver I want to talk about really, well, not really quickly, but pretty much for today is that it's Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham was special today, according to the reporters, man. Uh, multiple catches um, in one-on-one, -on -one, multiple catches in the 11s. Uh, probably the most active receiver today uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. That that uh, connection between Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham is building up and getting better. I mean, we've seen previously Lamar throw to Odell Beckham, and he makes a play on Marlon Humphrey, right? Well, that happened again today. So they said that this was a play, big completion to Odell Beckham, 35 yards down the field, plus... Marlon Humphrey in good coverage. Odell still comes, still comes down with the football. All right. Great throw. Great catch by Odell Beckham. All right. Um, one on ones. He was dominant. 
Kevon Seymour, they threw a jump ball between him and Kevon Seymour. He tipped it up to himself, caught it, it, caught it in the end zone. Uh, another one, Brandon Stevens. He went over top of Brandon Stevens' head and made the catch, all right? So Odell Beckham is doing pretty much everything that we would want to hear when the Ravens signed him originally, all right? And that's being a big play receiver. That's being a target that Lamar Jackson can trust and lean on when times get tough, when they get rough, right? Um, so it's not like Lamar Jackson was just throwing the jump balls out there. I'm not saying that. But uh, Odell Beckham was, of course, a reporter special today, all right? And that's great news, honestly, right? The Ravens probably, they have a lot of guys that are good at receiver right now. You know, it's kind of odd saying that, but they do. They have a lot of guys that are good at receiver, but the Ravens still need a guy that is that wide receiver one, can win on the outside, that kind of dominant receiver. And, uh, you know, hopefully Bateman can be that when he comes back. Uh, but if he's still slow coming along, it seems like Odell Beckham is playing really well. And the Ravens are playing this smart with Odell. Some days they're letting him go full goal. Some days they're doing snap counts. Some days they're resting him. All, all together. So, I think that's the big difference between this training staff and last training staff. They're letting the players listen to their bodies. And in turn, if they need a break, they're letting them have a break. Especially a player who ha has had the uh, the surgery history and is 30 years old like Odell Beckham is, right? So, it makes perfect sense. I like what they're doing with his, um, his training regimen right now. And it's showing off right now. He's playing really well. So, hopefully that continues. I think it will. Uh, I think Odell Beckham is determined to have a tremendous season, so that's only great news for the Ravens, all right? Now, not to be outdone too much, but Mark Andrews was heavily involved in the offense today. Uh, Mark Andrews is still going to be a, a top target for this offense in this offense. Uh, Lamar Jackson is not going to forget about him, obviously. You know, that's one of his favorite targets, probably still the favorite target of Lamar Jackson, uh, that, that, that tight end over the middle of the field. So, uh, Lamar, uh, Mark Andrews, that they said, heavily involved from start to finish, uh, multiple catches. They also put in there that he beat Kyle Hamilton multiple times. Now, that's important because Kyle Hamilton has been getting, has been kind of getting the best of Mark Andrews so far early on in this training camp process. But today, Mark Andrews came out on top, all right? So, for me, you know, that wasn't something that was, was going to happen um, every day. You know, this is the good part of having a good team. You win some, you lose some as far as offense, defense goes, right? It's supposed to be a back and forth battle. Uh, one side is not supposed to be shutting out the other side and vice versa, right? Uh, the offense is going to get theirs. The defense is going to have their days as well. So the Ravens are having a good back and forth battle in training camp. But this week so far has been an offensive week, and the offense has played really well. So um, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that, you know, we don't have to overreact to anything. It's just a nice, solid day. Uh, they didn't make it sound like the defense played bad or poorly. Just the offense was on point today. So, you know, I'll, I'll take that. Um yeah, man, so that's pretty much your Ravens uh, training camp report for today. Lamar Jackson Sharp, 18 for 25. Biggest uh, biggest stat for me, no interceptions. They didn't really mention anything about the offensive line blowing any protections or Lamar Jackson having a free blitzer in his face. So not saying it didn't happen because I wasn't there, but uh, we didn't hear about that. All right, so that's I'm going to take that as good news until somebody tells me differently. And, uh, you know, Odell Beckham, special. Mark Andrews, still heavily involved. So it's a very heavy offensive day to day for the Ravens. But... Defense will have theirs, but I'm just glad to see the offense is on a positive note. They've been really good this week, so hopefully that continues on. All right, man, so I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Consider hitting that subscribe button, man. It's Gabriel. It's on the Fan TV. I'm out.